We are now in the Synesthesy Room, a multi-sensory simulation area of the Insieme Association in Sehel Alma, under the guardianship of the Lebanese missionary Father Maroun Harb. This project was developed and followed in collaboration with the Utopia Association in Italy, under the guidance of the creator, Maestro Tommaso Liuzzi. Sound in multisensory stimulation refers to multisensory stimulation through sound. That is a sound therapeutic activity in osmosis with the environment, within which the personal sound frequency elicits the person sensorially as an event process that involves auditory, olfactory, visual, tactile, gustatory, vestibular, as in movement, somatic skin, vibratory tuning fork, thermoperceptual, proprioceptive and balanced stimulation. Sound is the catalyst that allows you to superimpose multiple sensory stimuli simultaneously, choosing which ones to exclude, reinforce, add, cross, or make prevail. In order to enhance relational socio-communication skills in people with disabilities, The soundproof space, synesthesy room, enriched with multiple sensory and cross-model stimulations, must be modifiable and interchangeable so as to be able to harmonize the sensory stimulation in a resilient way to the different needs of the person and to the specific therapeutic goals. This methodology differs from other music therapy methods in that it uses a mathematical table and an original algorithm in order to compose a different sound path for each person. The therapeutic com compositional form is realized starting from the sound history of the child and his family environment and develops through the multiple actions, reactions, of the same that will indicate a more effective sound elaboration and manipulation to be administered for the pre-established therapeutic objectives. The setting of this room includes several and complex devices. Some of the most important lead projectors and strips, stereo system, vibrating devices, aroma diffusers, audio equipment, audio video recordings, heated water mattress connected to sound vibrations, armchairs with booster seats with vibrating device, bed with an internal audio system, postural instruments, tactile visual and olfactory paths, interactions with image projections through sensors, touch monitors of various sizes, instruments and musical objects. For its empirical peculiarity and for that of wanting to investigate in depth every aspect that composes it. It has the peculiarity of being able to address all people of any age, avoiding categories and classifications. In fact, it has the ability to integrate and be integrated by each of us 
and by the different artistic disciplines. Definition of the Eterpi method, the infinite range of artistic skills and abilities that exist in nature allows us to seek these qualities in areas that are to be explored. There are in fact infinite ways of expressing oneself that are hidden in the infinite potentialities of the mind and decidedly beyond conventional structures. The expression beyond language is conceived to indicate precisely the launching of oneself beyond roles, dogmas and appearances. Consider that the supporting structure, that is the philosophical insipid of the method, is constituted by the so-called principle of application which consists in potentially applying the same principle according to which anyone can succeed in giving shape to their emotions if stimulated appropriately, regardless of their difficulties or discomforts of various kinds. This methodology, therefore, is not presented as a single method of music therapy, but as an active, musical, clinical, psychopedagogy where the learning of a musical instrument or sound tools are the motivating and autonomous basis of constant benefits throughout life. This belief, supported by multiple scientific researchers, is based on the fact that learning a musical instrument activates every part of the brain, strengthening all areas and bringing significant psychophysiological benefits.